Welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures and here we are again out in the boat, makes a change. I did say last week after the whole trip that I would uh, go out in the boat this weekend. Um, trust me, it's not where I want to be at the moment. Uh, there's a horrible sea breeze. So I thought, well, I'm just going to find somewhere up Southampton water here. Give it a go. Wait until that wind drops and uh, see what we can find. Uh, I would like to go for the smuts later on. As soon as that sea breeze uh, eases up, which it will do. And then I'll carry on sort of thing. But I'm not prepared to beat the boat around just to, just to get around there. So yeah, so here we go. We just uh, just got the one rod out at the moment. Not too fussed about what I get. It's just a matter of uh, just waiting now. Just wait until that sea breeze eases a bit. Uh, it's wind over tide as well, which ain't helping matters. So I thought, well, I'll go and try a little spot that I've had a few fish from before and uh, just chill out and just wait until it drops, really. Unfortunately, they are giving a lot of rain later on tonight. So... <laughs> Um, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get round to Hillhead a bit later and uh, maybe find a smut or two. We'll see. At the moment it's really nice. A little bit of haze over there. Just, uh, just crept up. Still warm though. The wind's got a nice warmth to it. And I can't believe the temperature of the water as well. It's 17.8 degrees. That's good to see that temperature right up. Got quite a few rods with me tonight. I've got me uh, zippy up tiders, a couple of little rod, light rods, plenty of worm, squid, and mackerel. So, as I say, just waiting for that wind to drop, and we'll see see what happens. It would have been nice to have got out earlier before this sea breeze uh, kind of got up, but I had things on work and a few other bits and pieces. But who cares, I'm out here now. A couple of little light rods out and uh, we'll see what happens. Tickety boo, right. Let's chill out. Wait for that wind to drop and then I can do some proper fishing. Happy days. Well, I finally got round to uh, where I wanted to fish, round here, here. Quite, quite a bit of breeze there, but obviously the tide just died right away uh, over slack water so it just made a more of a comfortable trip to get around here i thought i'm not going to beat the boat to bits just to come around here for a few smooth ounce if i get any smooth ounce but uh yeah so all rods uh so i've got two rods on nice long flowing trace with a uh, whole squid i've got no crab um uh, second best bait you can get is obviously uh sand hill uh, sorry squid so you know, two of those out there, and I've just got uh, my little light uh, HTO N70 Labrack Special, just on a bunch of worms. So a very light rod there. I've had one little bass, so I haven't blanked. Happy days. Um, yeah, just got to enjoy it, really. It's just a shame that forecast they are giving, and it is sort of like, yeah, I'll put you in. It is sort of like getting a bit blacker over there. The island doesn't look too bad, but uh, out in the east there, it's uh, certainly building up. I see there's quite a few people fishing hillhead. Actually off the point of hillhead there, there's a few people fishing on the shore because obviously it's low water now. So it's prime, prime time for that, for the old schmutz. So there's been quite a few big ones caught in the last week or so, so let's give it a go. I've just had a full service on the engine, completely stripped down the whole lot, carbs a lot, and uh, I'll be honest with you, apparently the carbs were pretty grim. Real sort of like a lot of sludge and shite in them. So I'm glad that's been done. Leg off, leg oil, impeller, all greased up. So that's happened this week flat out at work as always and uh, now's the time to chill and well <laughs> to top it all off I've got uh, water on the knee that's come on 
in the last 24 hours so I'm trying not to stand on it and just uh, elevate it so to speak but I can't really I'm out in the boat fishing aren't I but uh, I'm certainly not putting too much weight on it and I thought wow that's rounded the week off nicely <laughs> right come on fish where are you I've just had a little bite on the uh, smaller rod probably another bass and hopefully the old smuts will uh, drift around in a minute bring it on just had the first ratchet screamer absolutely tore off <clears throat> typical hound picked it up run drop He's staying deep. He's going right over there. Come on. Ah, he's in there. No wonder he couldn't run that hard. Come on. Not a monster. Well, that's going to be a big one. He's caught in the peck there. He might come off, he might not. Calm down, you bugger. I can't kneel down because of my bloody water on the knee. It's gonna come off. There we go. Oh. Happy days. Cut the pictures and get him back. Yeehaw! Well, albeit one so far, but target achieved. Pleased to get off the mark, so that's good. Uh, tides are. Uh, Swung me round into the wind now, so that's good. Boat's nice and steady in the tide. Shame I ain't got no hard backs or nothing, but uh, as I say, squid will have to do. Squid is the second best thing for smuts anyway. I'm in about sort of like about 10 foot of water, keeping in close where they generally run. So fingers crossed there'll be some more. I'm glad I brought me diesel wheat here tonight because it's a little bit nippy in that wind. Nothing worse than fishing when it's a little bit cold or you're getting cold. So fingers crossed I'll find another one or two. Can be quite productive here at night. Now we've got a bit of tide running, that will improve things. Bring it on. Come on then, take it, go on, do another run. Oh, there it goes, go on. Still there, yeah, he's still there. Go on. There he is. Go on, go on. Still there. Yes, there we go. Yeah, we're in.
right up on the surface. What is it? Not a doggy. <laughs> it is a doggy. <laughs> oh, well. Inevitable, I suppose. Lower species. <laughs> Not that I certainly do want. So the old looks, obviously Sakuma mantas, but these are manta extras. I like to use the the extras uh, certainly when I'm smut fishing because you get a big smut that runs. To be fair, it won't take much to uh, straighten out a, a standard manta. So I always use the extras. Thicker wire gauge, perfect for them. Perfect. There we go. Good old cast. That's how I've got the, the Ziplex profile light custom up tides. Perfect for this sort of fishing. And that's the only thing with, with that wind against tide here. If it does kind of ease, you'll push beam onto the sea is a bit of a nuisance. It looks like one of those angry, angry nights. <laughs> Another boat just outside of me there. Warrior 18 by the looks of it. Bring it on. Here we go. Screamer. Come on. Yeah, go on. Let's get over this side. Go on, do that again, mother. Oh, the other one's going. So to pull on there then. Come on. Do it again. Yeah, it's still. Yes, there we go. Oh, is he swimming with me or is it something else? Let's go over this way, Alec. There's a the leader. Oh, it's a bloody eel. Oh! God, epoxy things. Little strap. Oh, that means I've got to dig out my bloody tea bar. <laughs> that one's going now. Tell you what, let's see if I can leave him there. Oh, there we go. Go, go on then. Go on. Take that off. Please don't let it be the same. <laughs> Whatever it is, it ain't big. Oh, look at that. Two little poxy straps. Oh! I'll be honest with you, I didn't bank on seeing these little things. Look at that, two on the surface there. Oh, go on, that's it. Do the death roll. Try it if you can, pal. There we go. Hey, happy days. Right, let's quickly get this rod out. Then I'll take that one off. Don't want two rods out of the water. Not good. 
right, let's get it back down there. Another ratchet screamer. I think this might be a schmunt. Oh, didn't that go? I think he's on there. A bit of weight. And she's swimming with me. Letting me button out. It's coming up over that side. Something there. God, look at him go. Only a small one. <laughs> Don't they hang on? Look at him. Tiny one. That doesn't matter, it's number two. Only a tiddler. Put that there. Oh, my knee, my knee is killing me. Just starting to rain now as well. So I was just starting to put various bits and pieces away. Keep it all nice and dry. And she's just screamed off. Come on, open your mouth. There we go. There we go. It's not very big, three pounds if that. Go. That's right, number two. Bring it on. Well, not the rain, the fish. Oh, here we go again. Someone there running. Oh, he's still there. Oh no, he's come off, has he? Has he swim with me? Gutted. That felt a better fish. Yeah, that doesn't feel well. Check that. Don't feel like there's any bait on there either. Oh. Squid's still there. Fresh one, I think. Well and truly stripped that. Get it back down there. Here we go again. Here we go again. Come on. Come on. There we go. We're in. Is it what we want? Oh, go on then. Go on. Go on. Go on. Here we go. Come on. Come on. That wind's dropping away now. It has been raining, it's quite light, but. Oh, not an eel. Oh, bloody things. Oh, doing my head in. Oh. So not right having these things there. That's what you get for the sea temperature being so warm all the way through the year. Has he swallowed it? I can't quite tell. I can't quite tell. I think he has any. It could be a matter of cutting the hooks. Typical it's a pen or it's caught. That doesn't that doesn't bode well. Well if we can find the clarifying record of this scripture of any piece down, that makes it all worth a bloody Okay, try and get that. Right. That might make life easier. Get that one off, panel out there, so I can slide that down, pull that down, get him off. Oh, horrible things. Waste of existence. <laughs> Anyone think I don't like them? Oh, 
cut that trace back right let's get it back down there just had another screamer but after the few hills that i've had now not sure what it is definitely something there probably epoxy eel again oh go on then good old thump there you go Got a feeling another eel backing off like an eel. It's quite a heavy fish. This is a ray. It's fighting well. A few spots of rain there. There's a the leader. Hey, 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 thornback. Nice, different species. Don't mind the thornbacks. Hey, hey, little thorny. Nice. No problems with thornbacks, right? Getting it back in. Got another bite going. Unfortunately, I'm down to one rodded again at the moment. Had it snagged. I think this is one of those little tiny eels. He's there. Something's there. Yeah, it feels like one of those little straps. Got money on it. The dog. <laughs> It's only been out there a few seconds. There's a leader. Oh, that's right, doggy. He said I can unhook that, all right. It's almost slack water now. Just hanging around in the tide. There we go. All right, a bit of fresh bait, let's get it back down there. Well, welcome back, that's me done. I'm all packed up. Just approaching half 11. Fishing wasn't particularly great, but target achieved. Shame about those eels, they were a bit of a nuisance really, but it is what it is. So she's all packed up, anchors up. Gonna give her a wash down in a bit, radar's on. Nice steady, uh, Steady trip back, take me time, happy days. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for all your support. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, hit the like button and share away. Until next time, that is me gonna get wet. Bonjour.